So I have my brother here and he's going to be cooking me bigos. The Polish bigos, which is made out of sauerkraut and lots of different meats and mushrooms and he's really good at it and your brother of course <laughs> so um whenever he comes he always cooks me look we're gonna cook these two huge pans and um and then i freeze it in portions and he lasts me for months so <laughs> And he loves cooking, so whenever he comes, he always cooks me a huge batch of bigos. So, we have six jars of sauerkraut. We've got all this minced beef and minced pork. Then we have Polish sausage that you put in there, mushrooms, onions, and also dried mushrooms, and all sorts of marjoram paprika um yeah it's gonna be lovely okay this is all ready now it took us hours so now this is gonna be cooking for how long hours and hours isn't it it's just a couple of hours yeah bring it to the boil cup cook it for a couple of hours on very low heat, on very low heat. and then tomorrow you do it again yes the more you cook it, the better it is because it soaks up all the flavors. Correct. So here is all my bigos. <laughs> Look at it. I have so many dinners now to freeze it. <laughs> well done, my brother. Oh, well done, Misha. And I was watching it and doing it with him, so now I can do it myself. Well, I could cook it myself, but he makes it so good that I wanted to see how he makes it. So, yes, loads. Hello, my lovelies. So, my brother is gone now. He was here. He's done. He was here for four days. We had a lovely time. Um, we are very close, so and we always have fun. And he's like the easiest person to have as a guest, anyway. Uh, so yeah, we had a lovely time. We cooked one day, as you saw, all day. <laughs> Uh, then we went shopping because my brother, I think it's a family illness, loves clothes shopping. So I took him shopping. He bought himself some stuff and uh, he went home last night. So yeah, we had a lovely time. But I've just received something and I need to give you a heads up. So put this in your diary. I'm talking about Rifa brushes. So it's going to be day fourth anniversary they started in 2019 and they just released i think this is limited edition they cheek brush it comes in this lovely wooden box i will tell you about the brush in a minute it is so beautiful i don't even want to use it i just want to look at it look at the handle it's hand painted and here is the brush that feels so wonderful i don't think i can bring myself to use it honestly it's a collector item so this brush will be available on the 17th of october i think they have limited stock so you have to be quick now let me tell you about this uh, brush so so this uh, brush is made out of the finest materials possible the brush is creating using saibi koho the finest grade of natural hair uh, the handle is created using traditional japanese maki a lacquerware technique that originated in Japan around 1200 years ago. Maki is done by painting lacquer motifs on the surface using fine brush. So that's what you can see on that handle. Traditionally, these brushes made out of this 
uh, particular hair are extremely rare and expensive so the starting price usually for these type of brushes is $250 up to $500 or even more but you know as a brand they try to bring us like the best quality product at affordable prices they are selling this brush at $88 on October 17th you will see as 188 regular price and discounted to 88 dollars yes due to the nature of this brush it's obviously very expensive to make this will be a limited edition and there is not in a lot of them so on the 17th of october if you want to get this brush put that in your um, diary but that's not all they have just came out with another eye brush set and these are the favorite because you know when you go to the concept store you can get all these brushes or certain brushes for very small price providing that you will give feedback within 30 days so this brand is very much powered by as the consumer they take our opinions suggest suggestions into consideration and that's how they come up with new products so the most popular eye brushes are the number one number two 13 14 f 15 according to rifa and yes you know me and my number one and two i mean i've got so many number ones <laughs> and 15 so these are the most popular brushes and apparently um, people suggested that they love these brushes but they would like to see a bigger and smaller version of each of those brushes so that's what they did so now you can get for example a brush number one or one in mini and maxi mini will be smaller than the original o1 and maxi will be bigger than the original o1 so o1 will sit in the middle so this is this is original R1 so as you can see the maxi is a bit bigger and the mini is smaller than the original one the same with number two so this is my original auto then you have the mini version of it and maxi so if you love those shapes of those brushes but you feel like sometimes you need it to be a bit smaller than the original one or a bit bigger now you've got the option uh, so that was O2 let me show you 13 so this is original 13 this is mini of it and this is maxi and then number 14 this is original i have like the very first one i've got different handle on that so this is 14 you see this is the mini and this is maxi and the same with 15 this is original 15 there is your maxi it's slightly bigger and there is mini i quite like the mini but i don't think i would need the maxi i'm fine with the original one um, it's just slightly bigger from what I can see but the mini would be useful so right now you can only buy them as a set so you will get mini and maxi of each brush in a set you can't buy them individually yet but they might in future do it they're just preparing their inventory for Big Friday sale and they Big Friday sale start on 1st of November so remember on the 17th of October you can buy the anniversary cheek brush this beautiful beautiful brush I cannot explain to you how soft it is how am I gonna use it I can't be using it I just keep it in this box so that's 17th of October and then 1st of November, the Black Friday sales start. Uh, so this is the time to really stock up on your brushes. I'm not sure if 
this mini and maxis will be available on the 17th of october hang on they say both sets so i wonder if you are going to have a set of minis and set of maxis not that you get mini and maxi in a set i am not sure i just got this email so i am not completely sure but they will be sets and i yes i think you get set of minis or set of maxis and each set will be 60 dollars discounted from 120 so that's on october 17th as well and but on the 17th they only put in very small number of these brushes because like i said they get in their stock ready for the black friday sales so if you want it quickly go on there on the 17th of october to get the anniversary brush and the new set or wait till black friday sales which will be from 1st of november and you can get them then but um I don't know if they will still have the anniversary brush. Okay, was it clear as mud? <laughs> okay, my lovely, so I just thought I'd pop in and let you know because this video will come out on what? Around 17th, just before 17th of October. So I wanted you to know about it. So yeah, I will leave you the link in the description box and happy shopping good morning my lovelies i'm just going to meet my friend so do you remember when i bought all these dresses from aspiga when we were in cotswolds well when i was showing them to you one of you told me that there is a spiga shop near me and i never knew that so we are going to have a look at the winter collection and also there is a really nice furniture store there and um, so we will have a look in there and they have cafe i think so we can have a coffee as well so very pleasant afternoon out um it's beautiful weather still we're having the most wonderful um autumn i mean i think september was warmer than july so yeah it's really lovely um i will show you i filmed what i'm wearing today i hope you can see me here so i'm just wearing jeans my seven jeans um just a white poplin shirt this one is from Reese, I think, and LK Bennett shoes. They are really annoying. They they are really squeaky. These shoes. Um, you can't really see me in full length here. I've come upstairs so you can <laughs> see it better now. Right. Look at these shoes. I could wear these other shoes these vivaya ones and they are so comfortable as well i might actually wear these they are really nice i love wearing white shirts but because of the colors i feel so conscious all the time of not getting it dirty because i put foundation on my neck so i'm forever thinking about not getting foundation on the shirt collar um so yes it's very difficult to wear <laughs> white shirts and by the way um i am oh what is that police oh my god there is lots of police they've just blocked the road behind me huh um anyway um by the way i'm wearing the squeaky shoes <laughs> so i don't wear them very often the squeaky shoes <laughs> So I thought maybe if I wear them today, oh, there he comes. Right, he is, oh my God, this police motorbike just gone in front of me and they've just, they're just blocking the road. They're doing something really weird. Wow, I don't know if you can see it here. There he comes, and there is another one with unmarked Q 
keep back well maybe that's um it looks like a what do you call it convoy you know like when they esc escort that's it like when they escort in some important people so i think that's what it was um, what was I saying? Squeaky shoes, yeah. I thought if I wear them for a few hours today, maybe they will stop squeaking. Don't you hate that? It's so horrible when your shoes squeak. Oh, on my lips today, I am uh, wearing the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Beauty Lipstick and Lip Liner. Really nice. such a lovely day did you see that furniture shop was so lovely and those chairs I really love those roll top chairs but um, but they were cream so of course I worried about the dirt uh, they had platinum ones which was quite light grey of course I couldn't make my mind up and I bought a dress in Aspiga. Do you remember when I was telling you that summer when I bought um, those summer dresses in Aspiga that I tried the Victoria dress which was beautiful but it was satin so it was very much going out dress. Um, but I think I told you then that in the winter they do like a fine corduroy Victoria dress and this year they do beautiful colors and i bought this navy but i don't know if you can see how gorgeous this navy is and because it's called roy you can sort of dress it down you can wear it with trainers or just with boots or flat shoes or you can wear it with high heels and i think it'd be really lovely for um for christmas dinner so yeah, I bought that. Really, really love it. There was beautiful pink. But the pink, the corduroy was much wider. They are just so beautiful. And I got 10% off as well. So that was good. Right. We've had lunch. We've had coffee. And we even had a dessert we had eaten mess so I'm gonna go home now hello my lovelies so I am going to bore you um, about the chairs I'm sick sick of it I'm sick of myself I'm sick of chairs so when I last saw you I show you the shop <clears throat> and these chairs that I liked with like a roll back and I also like this one 
and they did them in four colors so i've got swatches for them so this is just like a beige and they are made out of what do they call it it's um velvet it's like a let me put it really close can you see it's got like texture to it so i got this beige color then this one is called platinum so it's a weird color because it's not really gray it's sort of grayish i'll put them all against my wall so you can see it this one sometimes looks like a light beige and this is charcoal which i wouldn't have and then they had navy here you can see here they are the platinum i think and here are the ones without rolled back so yes beautiful chairs so this is the beige this is the platinum and i just got two samples for those next chairs so this is the gray which actually just looks so good it's the right shade of gray but we've decided we're not doing gray right and this is the mid neutral and it's like a chunky weave and i really like it so because it's such a chunky weave you know it's quite a tough fabric and also you know it has like few different colors in it so it wouldn't show that much dirt and it would look really good this one and then you have the light one and the platinum I don't know if you can see it well so it's between really this one and this one I do really like it so I've just found the store that sells furniture because I would still want to sit on them so I just went on online and found the store with furniture because the one that I have near me does just clothing they don't have any furniture so I might go and have a look but I just look online and guess what they are un unavailable now sold out I've had them in my basket for ages and now they've sold out so that's what that's what happens when you can make up your mind um, also these ones are much more expensive they said they we found them and they said they would give us a deal but i really don't know what to do now but i do like that mid gray i think it's really nice so i will go to next sit down on it and see if i like them and i just wait maybe if they come back into stock <laughs> i don't know what to do about these ones honestly like i said i'm sick of it anyway just wanted to show you those um, samples see what you think after that good morning so my watch is dead now <laughs> i think i've um i've told you maybe in my last vlog my watch started going funny and um, that was because my battery was going I took it to the jewelry shop and I have a tag watch so they would have to send it away to change the battery and it was like eight weeks wait so I didn't want to be eight weeks without my watch so then I told you I found out about this place those places called the watch lab and they have one in Reading and I think one in Windsor uh, and they do it within like half an hour uh, so I can go around the shops while they're doing it and they seal it there and pressure test it so I don't have to wait eight weeks but my watch has been dead like for over a week I had no time to go there in a week and I had my brother at the weekend so last weekend 
so I didn't have time to do it. So I've been wearing watch that he's dead. So I'm going to Reading. It's Saturday. It's very early. It's just after nine o'clock because Saturdays are usually busy and I hate busy places. So I'm going really early and also if I went later um, he might be a bit more busy and it would be longer wait. So that's what I'm doing. It suddenly got really cold. So this is the first time I'm wearing a cashmere jumper this year. It's only, what is it, nine degrees. So yeah, it's got a bit cold. Not looking forward to it. I don't mind it like this actually. I just don't like wearing coats and boots. Don't like it. This um, beautiful jumper is from Lily Silk. It's quite new. I absolutely love the cashmere and, and silk so yes so that's what I'm doing and because it's nice and sunny it's cold but nice and sunny we might take Louis for longer walk later Louis had loads of lovely walks lately because we've been going to Virginia waters almost every weekend as the weather was so nice but you know he is getting a bit slow I mean he loves it when he goes to a different place different than the places around us where we're walking he loves it he gets so giddy and, and runs around but on the way back he's really tired and walks really slowly we actually went thinking to buy him a pram <laughs> I know it's ridiculous but you know when we go on these holidays here in the UK and we always love going for long walks well we can't always do that because Louis gets tired and achy when we went to Devon after I don't know if I told you after that day on the beach he was limping for days because he's obviously pulled his shoulder you know running around so sometimes it would be nice to to have a pram for him so when he gets tired we can just stick him in it I know it's a bit ridiculous isn't it having a dog in a pram but what else do you do I'm done I'm on my way back home now my watch is working it's not 20 past 11 anymore <laughs> it was stuck on 20 past 11 I run around shops a bit um, I bought just something in Hollister I wanted a pair of joggers but the color they, they had they didn't have it in my size but I bought a white sweatshirt just a, I just love Hollister's sweatshirts are so so soft and I got a really lovely very very thin cotton shirt um, so yeah that's all I got I just I don't know I don't enjoy shopping out anymore I like it in other countries though because it feels like something different but here I'm bored all the same shops everywhere and also I hate going from shop to shop, taking your clothes off, putting them back on. It's much easier to order it home and then you can try it with your own stuff. The only thing is then you have to take things back. Um, but it's quite easy now to return things. So It's getting busy. I'm dying for coffee. Um, I couldn't have one this morning because you know I've told you before if I'm going anywhere in a car I can't have coffee because I need to be near the toilet <laughs> I pee every 10 minutes so I'm really really gasping for coffee I only ever have one coffee a day and it's usually around 10 o'clock and it is five past 11 now so I was done very quickly the sun is out I think we might go for a walk if I film it 
what Louis I will include it. If not, I am going to finish this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.